Hello everybody, and thanks for joining me today. So, the last time I tried to record, uh, it didn't go well. For some reason, my uh, camera didn't get a good focus on the stitching, and it was very fuzzy. And uh, not up to my usual standard, so I scrapped it. So, I can't really remember what I said compared to what I said previous sessions, so if I end up repeating myself, my apologies. <laughs> Although, even if I remember, I probably will repeat myself anyway, that just happens. I have the habit of occasionally telling the same story more than once, so... <laughs> You'll just have to bear with me. All right, but so as you can see, I got most of the stone pillar done and uh, the colors just kind of went more vertical in that section. So I just kind of followed them and ended up with more column style stitching for that part. And now I am in the midst of sort of converting back to my, oops, that wasn't very smart, converting back to my diagonal style of stitching. I always tell myself, at least I have the first few times, that I'm going to just stitch, continue to stitch diagonally even across the, uh, the stone pillars here, but then I get to it and I end up going vertically anyway. So, but that's okay. I always say there's no rules, just guidelines. Oh my gosh, I am not having luck with this piece. Do what makes the most sense to you at the time, and that's what does, so. Okay. That piece was really short and almost too short to work with, but I managed. So a mix of confetti and some Looks like some bigger blocks here, so we'll see what kind of progress we make. Yeah, and I had issues with the last few videos I uploaded. The automatic captioning did not want to work. I always go through and, and fix my captions anyway, but I mean, it is nice to have a base to work with. But the last couple of videos I had to do um, completely manually. Yeah, so instead of taking, you know, maybe an hour, it took four. I am determined that my videos should be accessible to those who need captions, whether they're hard of hearing or they're just like me and just prefer to have them on. Yeah, I can hear just fine, but I have trouble sometimes filtering out overlapping sounds. So if somebody else is in the room talking on the phone or whatever, I can have a hard time and having the captions really helps with that. Yeah, and I'm always complaining about lousy captions on TV, so I'd be a hypocrite if I didn't make sure I had decent captions on my own videos. Yeah, lately NBC is terrible. 
for some shows, they have the sound turned down too low. And so I guess the automatic caption doesn't work very well. And sometimes it's actually laughable trying to figure out how it ended up with what appears on the screen. In fact, it was kind of distracting. I ended up having to turn them off for a couple of shows because I was getting more drawn into the gobbledygook the caption said and then trying to figure out what it was supposed to be. So that was frustrating though. And that's, you know, it wasn't a live show. It's a scripted show. So they don't really have an excuse, right? There's time in post-production to do that. Or at least there should be. And it's a major network too. It was NBC. So you would think they should have the funding for it. I think somebody's just lazy. They just don't care about accessibility, which is not a good attitude to have. 38, 30. Oh, yeah, I think there's a bit more flowers in this area of the pattern. Should make for some interesting stitching. If I can find the right spot, that is. gonna end up with a whack ton of needles, methinks. Oh goodness, yeah. If there is a knot. I find it's the attaching new threads that really takes me the longest. I'll get an area where I have a bunch of parked threads and it looks intimidating, but actually that goes faster. I find than having to pull new thread and attach it, that takes longer. Oh goodness, there we go. Especially since I use multiple needles, so once I have things threaded, it doesn't take that long to switch colors.
Okay, I was going to attach a longer piece and carry it, but the first piece that came out of the envelope was this eeny little, eensy little one, so... <coughs> I will just use this. I'll attach a new longer thread later when I get to those other stitches of this color. I tell you, I am not having luck today with these little pieces. I've done so many pin stitches in this area, kind of running out of threads, so that's why I use a combination of techniques. It's less trees here, I think, and more flowers on the hedges. So that'll be pretty. And another one. Too short to park. We will just finish it here. Okay, fair amount of this color kind of scattered around. 36 and 7. <coughs> mm. Mm, it is quite a bright color. almost fluorescent looking or neon. Yeah, I remember wearing this kind of color when I was growing up. <laughs> A kid of the 80s and 90s. You can do all decades, look back. All generations look back at the decades of what they wore when they were younger, when it was cool and cringe. Or is it just us? Although I guess those jackets were probably useful for keeping you getting hit by a car as a pedestrian. <laughs> they would certainly see you. Oh yeah, lots of color change, a little slower going, but I do like that. I don't have to come back and fill in gaps later. Yeah, I remember when I used to stitch by color by page. And then at the end of a page, I was always ended up with like 30 or 40 stitches scattered all over the page that were mostly different colors. So that would take like two days to fill that in. <laughs> it's a real pain. Yeah, 
it. So kind of like here, when I get to the bottom of a section, it's done. There is nothing missing. And less likely to miscount. Still happens, of course, but not as much. Oh my gosh. There, I do know how to thread a needle, I swear. I do it a lot. Although I discovered the other day that uh, threading a needle on my sewing machine is much harder because you can't move the needle. Right, when I'm stitching by hand, I move sort of the thread and the needle towards each other, not just one or the other. But yeah, when you're threading a sewing machine, that needle is stationary in the machine, so it's, it was a bit more fiddly. I think that machine is done, too. I was having this issue where I was trying to just do a quick zigzag stitch around the outside of some cross-stitch fabric to secure the uh, edges, and it wouldn't, it would not do it. I would end up with the, um, top thread would just keep getting stuck underneath till you get like this rat's nest under under the bottom and my husband tried taking it apart and seeing if he could figure out some mechanical thing and you know maybe it needed more tension or less tension and it wasn't the bobbin that was the issue and yeah I said you know what though this is the cheapest machine I could find <laughs> and I bought it gee at least 12 years ago it was a long time so I think it's one of those you get what you paid for. <laughs> so yeah, I think I'm gonna have to get another one. Yeah, because I ended up trying to go over the edge with that zigzag and then having to rip it out and try again so many times I said I'm gonna actually end up, you know, perforating this this edge here. It's going to have so many holes, extra holes, and it's going to just rip apart like perforated paper. I actually ended up overcasting some of that edge by hand because that machine was driving me out of my mind. Let's see, 3608. These bright colors really pop, hey, next to that pillar. It's a nice contrast. It's OK. 
kind of doing a stair step here. Oh, did I do that correctly? Nope, I just realized. I am one stitch over from where I should be good. I'm glad I figured out before I pulled that uh, end of the loop to the other side because once you do that, it's very hard to undo it again. I learned that the hard way. A lot of times I end up just cutting it and having two shorter pieces because it's almost impossible for me to undo it that way. So yeah, I have to try and catch it before I pull that loop back to the wrong side. So if you're worried, is it is it very anchored? Yeah, believe me, it is. It is anchored in there very firmly. So I'm thinking something's going to be out of order here. Just the way things are crossing past each other. If I was really determined to not close anything in, I could, of course, add more threads, but sometimes that's just not worth it. Especially if it's only one stitch that's really out of order. I am not that persnickety about it. Oh, goodness. There we go. Those two. I knew that felt wrong. There, now it's smooth again.
so many colors in this flower, but that's what gives it the detail. Very pretty. I can see I'll need another strand for this soon. This is short plus stitches are kind of going in two directions. Okay. Let's see if I've got a shorter one here. that were too short. I would get one stitch out of those, but not three. Should be just enough to do this one up here and end it off. Okay, sort of right on the edge, I'm gonna leave it. Because I can see the other stitches I gotta do around it. It's gonna make me have to backtrack a fair amount, so. <coughs> Pardon me.
So because the pillar is kind of almost a straight edge there, I'm going to be reaching the bottom of this diagonal slice pretty soon and ready to go back to the top. wanted to make sure I actually caught that loop, not pierced the thread. That would be not good.
Okay, that is too short to carry. I think. Yeah, I'm gonna end this one off. Okay, so I am gonna do these ones a bit out of order, like I said. Sometimes it's just not worth the hassle it would take to avoid doing that. So, as you can hear, I'm not alone today. <laughs> My son is off school. He's playing computer games in the background. There's just enough for one more stitch out of that one. <clears throat> so that's what I will do. Okay, two, ten.
Okay, I think actually I'm just going to leave those for the next diagonal. Yeah, because I'm going to attach a new thread for this color further down here. One time I actually wanted a shorter piece. There aren't any. Oh well. The springs are too much more. Oof. <sighs> Eight. Welcome to the day. too hard and it came right through that's no good Okay, so I did it that way so I can do these stitches kind of around it and not have to close anything in. Oh. Okay, 917. <coughs> around my fingers. So yeah, if I need to break up the larger bits of color to keep from closing stuff in, that's what I do. If you feel that interrupts, you know, your flow of stitching too much and you don't care as much about closing stuff in, then just do it your way, right? Yeah, this is just how I do it. I don't think there's any one right way to stitch long as you are enjoying it and happy with the finished product. It is all good. Oh my gosh. No. 
Oh, I feel like I got some good brain exercise today with all this color changing. Might take a break and stitch some boring background on another project so I don't have to think. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of one reason why I like to have more than one sometimes. It's nice to have a boring bit for a brain break when you need it. Okay. that one would be threaded, but I guess I didn't leave it threaded because I knew it would be a while before I got to it again. Next diagonal, so unthread it. Ooh. Ooh, pardon me. I might just leave those for the next section. Yeah, I think so. Hmm. I will 
will procrastinate them till later. <laughs> I was just double checking with my grid lines there that I was in the correct place. And I am. Okay. Yeah, if that wasn't threaded, I might have left it. Since it is, we will do these three and then park it and unthread it. I know this is kind of past the line, but we've already parked here and one stitch and then I can end that thread off and have one less. So why not? I will do that. that one too. Okay. So that means that diagonal is done. And something satisfying about getting the threads all neat and tidy and ready for the next the next diagonal
Short pieces today are just not getting along. Yeah, but I do hate wasting. So I will fiddle with them if it means I don't. I don't waste perfectly good usable thread. Look at that, 197 stitch today. If I do these three, it'll give me a nice even 200, so let's do that. even 200. That seems like a nice stopping place. All right, so thank you so much for joining me today, and I hope I will see you here again sometime. All right, thanks everyone. Bye!